Your problem as a leadership is that you have to shake off the taint of anti-Semitism, which is not this leadership's responsibility, but you've got to get rid of it. So you've got to back Israel, come what may, and that you've made a cold calculation that the votes of Muslims that you might lose, three million or so voters, uh, won't matter uh, as much as getting back the votes that you lost because of the Corbyn era. In short, you're taking Muslim votes for granted. You've covered a lot of issues in that sentence, but the one thing I disagree with is the frame that you've put around it. We're not thinking how do we win votes or what votes we will lose at a time when there is war and conflict unfolding before us and there are human tragedies of a scale we've not seen okay. for a very long time. Uh, there are two truths here that's unfolding. The first okay. is that everybody has the legitimate right in a democratic society, as ours is, to advocate for two sovereign solutions within the, the, the area, the right, territory we're, being... we're talking about. There is also, Trevor, a right and a wrong. What Hamas did was wrong, and we stand on the side of Israel okay. within international law to defend itself. Oh. These two things can happen if we get it right, and Keir Starmer's right. leadership has been steadfast on Okay, well, you've made... He's been sensitive you've to the long-term challenges and listening to you've the voices that... who campaign, you've but he's that... also been steadfast in support you... on the right and the 